Hello fellow travelers, lately we've been flying with Singapore Airlines quite often, and this marks our third trip with them. Let me delve into the two key reasons behind our consistent choice. But before that, allow me to share our recent flight experience. Our journey involved a connecting flight from Narita, Japan, originating from LAX and heading to Singapore. Now, without further ado, let's dive into the details of this memorable trip. Singapore Airlines consistently delivers outstanding customer service which contributes to a delightful experience for all passengers regardless of their travel class. Upon boarding the aircraft, the crew member will inquire about your seat number and promptly escort you to your seat. This is a prime example of the attentive service I mentioned earlier. Observe how the attendants swiftly move to assist with the passenger's luggage. See how she runs to help with the luggage? Upon settling into my seat, I observed a few items that hadn't been there on my past two flights. An eye mask tucked in a small pouch, socks, and slippers. According to the menu booklet, these amenities should be available upon request. But the amenity kit was absent. It's unclear why there's a discrepancy in this regard. The business class seat on Singapore Airlines is truly a favorite of mine. The seat upholstered in premium leather boasts an impressive width that stands out in its category. The cushioning strikes a perfect balance in thickness, ensuring comfort even during flight static seats 10 hours. However, there's a slight hiccup with the seat design. The footwell is positioned to the side, rather directly in front, which can make for an unusual sleeping posture. Nevertheless, the generous width of the seat means that even when I sleep at an angle, my comfort remains largely unaffected. As I was getting cozy in my seat, the crew came around with a selection of welcome drinks. The options were water, orange juice, or sparkling wine. I opted for the orange juice. It would have been the cherry on top if they had offered their signature mocktails as part of the choices. Meanwhile, another attendant was distributing warm towels to each of us, adding a touch of comfort to the start of our journey. While we were gearing up for takeoff and the safety video was playing, I took a moment to peruse the business class menu to to see what culinary delights awaited us. The takeoff menu featured a single appetizer alongside four choices for the main course and desserts. I've noticed that the menu variety on flights departing from LAX seems somewhat limited and the flavors don't match up to the culinary heights of other leading airlines like Qatar and Emirates. As for the beverages, however, Singapore Airlines impresses with an array of alcoholic beverages, but I was more interested in the non-alcoholic options, which includes four mocktails. The Midsummer Breeze stands out as my preferred choice for a refreshing non-alcoholic drink. Once the safety video concluded, we embarked on our journey towards Narita, Japan. As the plane ascended to cruising altitude, the crew came around with a selection of assorted nuts. A customary appetizer that seems to be universal offerings in disguise, at least on all the business class flights I've experienced. It wasn't long before I was savoring my Midsummer Breeze mocktail, a delightful prelude to the meal service. As I awaited my meal, I opted to pass the time with a film. It's common knowledge that the in-flight entertainment system isn't touch activated. That means you have to use the remote control. However, one aspect of the Singapore Airlines I truly appreciate is the exceptional sound quality of their headsets. Well, wearing the headset atop my hat makes me feel a bit geeky. <laughs> but removing my hat would only reveal my less than perfect hairdo. <laughs> So let's keep the hat, okay? As I was still browsing for a movie, the flight attendant came and promptly extended my tray table. I offered to manage it myself, yet she kindly took the initiative to do it. Such attentive service is a hallmark of flying with Singapore Airlines. Additionally, the convenience of the push top that allows for adjusting the table height to personal comfort is a feature I greatly admire. Shortly thereafter, my first course was served, a marinated shrimp salad, accompanied by a refreshing midsummer breeze mocktail. The dish presentation was visually striking, featuring vegetables that appears even fresher and more enticing than those on my previous flight. Naturally, I couldn't resist taking a bite. The tomatoes were delightfully succulent, the greens crisp, 
but it was the unexpected vegetable that truly really intrigued me. I'm curious about this one. What's this? Initially mistaken for a radish, it turned out to be turnip. A delightful surprise to my taste buds. Its tenderness and subtle sweetness make it an excellent introduction to the meal. The main course was presented after the salad. A small serving of salmon accompanied by a sticky rice and a selection of vegetables. A consistent observation with Singapore Airlines is their leaner protein portions flying out from LAX. Despite its smallest size, the salmon was moist and tastefully prepared, a significant improvement over the previous flight's offering which was regrettably overcooked and under-seasoned due to the insufficient sauce. The sticky rice offered a unique twist, its sweetness and smoky flavor providing an intriguing contrast to the familiar plain steamed rice. The vegetables were impeccably prepared, with the eggplant deserving special mention for its flawless texture. Altogether, this dish stood out, marking the best culinary experience I've had with Singapore Airlines thus far. Before I proceed, if you're still watching at this point, you'll likely found value in this video. I kindly ask you to hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, consider doing so. Thank you, thank you very much for your support. As I relished the final bites of the main course, the attendants presented an enticing array of desserts. The spread featured ice cream, apple cake, a selection of gourmet cheeses, and freshly sliced fruits. My natural inclination led me to the hug and does a delightful sweet finale to the meal. Despite a touch of turbulence that added a playful shake to the video, I savored the ice cream treat. Hagen does renowned flavor speaks for itself. A detailed critique feels unnecessary. Post dinner, I requested the amenity kit, which the flight attendant provided with a smile. Encased in this elegant penholigan pouch, its slender profile almost shows there is nothing inside. This stood in stark contrast to the amenity kit from United Airlines featured in my earlier video, which was noticeably packed. This kit contains just the essentials, hand lotion, lip balm, and facial mist. That's it. Post movie and restful nap, I decided to indulge in a classic pizza. It was presented appealingly accompanied by a garnish of greens. I eagerly sampled a slice and while the crust was more chewy than expected, it tastes really good. Alongside the pizza, there was a quaint bag of Hunter's Gourmet Collection potato chips, which made for a perfect snack as I resumed watching the film. As we approached Narita for landing, the pre-landing meal began, an hour before touchdown. The first course featured a vibrant smoked pink trout salad. The vegetables and trout exudes freshness, enticing my taste buds. I eagerly drizzled dressing over the salad before taking my first bite. The generous cuts of fish made this dish a delightful highlight. For the main course, I was tempted by the Asian selection, soy sauce, fried noodles topped with seafood and intermingled with vegetables. Initially, I mistook the topping for tofu, but for my delight, it turned out to be fish. The noodles achieved a harmonious balance, neither overly soft nor rigid, glistening with oil, a hallmark of Asian style preparation. The delightful blend of chewiness, saltiness, and subtle sweetness left no trace on my plate. There was only one choice for dessert, a coffee-layered cake. Although a larger slice might have been more gratifying, the cake itself was exquisite. It was moist, with a sweetness that tiptoed just beyond my preference, yet without any undue bitterness. A perfect treat to conclude the meal before landing. As previously mentioned, there are two compelling reasons why we have consistently chosen Singapore Airlines for our recent flights. Firstly, it stands out as the most convenient option for securing multiple award seats when traveling from the West Coast to Singapore. Unlike other airlines where obtaining even two award seats can be challenging, Singapore Air allows easy booking even up to four award seats, 
when reservations are made six months or more in advance. On two separate occasions, I successfully booked three award seats during our initial flight and four award seats for this flight. Secondly, Singapore Air's cancellation policy is remarkably lenient. An example is for this flight. I booked four award business class seats. Unfortunately, my eldest son couldn't join due to school commitments just three weeks before our travel date. Fearing the loss of the 128,000 points used for the seat, I contacted Singapore Air to cancel. To my surprise, the customer representative assured me that it was not an issue at all and I would receive a full refund of the points. This seamless experience reinforces our loyalty to Singapore Air. In fact, we've already booked another flight with them for an upcoming travel to Asia in January 2025. In my next video, I'll continue the flight from Japan to Singapore. But before that, if you're curious about the experience of flying Singapore Air in economy class, click on the thumbnail. Until next time, fellow travelers, bye for now.